similar with Tally. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how I like to make my iced coffee. If you're anything like me, you're a huge coffee drinker. I definitely am. I love coffee. I drink it probably way too much, but it's my guilty pleasure. And during the winter months, and of course even during summer, I just love to have a good cup of hot coffee. But there's nothing more refreshing than during a day when you just need a pick-me-up and you have got a, like a just giant glass of cold iced coffee. It's just fantastic. The ingredients for them are super simple. You're going to just need coffee and water. But what's important is the ratio. To four cups of water, you're going to need a third cup, six tablespoons, of some strong coffee granules. Not the instant, just regular strong coffee granules. That's going to make a huge difference. Most people just make a big pot of coffee and they put it in the fridge and then it gets cold and you have iced coffee. I'm not one of those people. I think it's way, way, way too like mild. It doesn't taste like anything to me. I need it to be like really good. So here's how I do this. I take some uh, water, put it in this pot right here, and all I'm doing is warming this up to the touch. I'm literally not going to bring this to a boil, not a simmer. Once I put my finger in and it's like warm, then I know I'm at the right stage. You don't want your water to be cold, you don't want it to be hot. Just want it to be slightly warm. This isn't going to take more than 30 seconds. I can already feel that's getting there really quickly. So while that's happening, I'm going to just put my coffee, my coffee granules, right into this big measuring cup. You can do this in anything that you want. This is nearly there. I would say it's about... If I had to pick a, a number, I would say it's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect. Then you're going to put this warm water over your coffee granules. You're going to cover this tightly with plastic wrap. And you're going to leave it alone to steep for 8 hours. I know it sounds like it's a long time, but think about it. You can do this the night before. It takes you 30 seconds. And the next day, well, when I wake up tomorrow morning, which will be the next 10 seconds for you, I'm going to show you the next step. But this, I'm just going to leave it aside on my counter for about 8 hours, and I'll show you what to do next. It's been about 8 hours, and my coffee's been steeping here, so it's time to drain, well, not really drain it, but strain it, and then we're done. So, it's done all of its magic overnight. You don't have to do anything else to it. But... I'm going to strain this. Now I have a very fine sieve here and I'm lining it with multiple layers of um, cheesecloth. But you can use coffee filters, but you're going to need to change them every once in a while because it will, they will become really, really messy and not very pleasant. So carefully and with patience, a little bit at a time, I'm going to strain this into a clean pitcher. Now that you have that done, you're ready. Give that a stir. All of your coffee granules will stay in the cheesecloth and all the way at the bottom here. So don't worry, there'll be nothing in here. Now all you need is a very large glass filled with ice. That's pretty much how I like to roll with iced coffee. Fill it up, give it a little room, and then how you like to sweeten it, well, that's up to you. But for iced coffee, I suggest either using a simple syrup like I'm, I'm going to use today because it will, it's already dissolved. The sugar has dissolved. I've already done a quick tip on how to make simple syrup, which is just equal parts of water, sugar. You kind of cook them together until the sugar melts, and then you let it cool. And now we're done. I'm going to sweeten it with that, but if you don't have this, I will suggest using super fine sugar because regular sugar is not going to dissolve in iced coffee. Quick tip. Sweeten it however you like. I do like my coffee kind of sweet. I like a little splash of milk, not too terribly much. Get a straw ready, and that is iced coffee, a delicious iced coffee. It's simple, it's easy, you just have to have the ratio right, and once you have the ratio right, there's no going back to buying it anywhere else because it's easy enough that you can make it at home. And this method is foolproof. I guarantee it. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me. Go to my website at www.lauranykitchen.com to get the recipe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.